Salty Scrooge is placing first in the last marble race with Spooky Pumpkins and Furious Foresters in the bottom two. The pressure's on for our eight competitors as they're about to race down our track in a classic teamwork race in round two of this marble race tournament. Hello everybody, I'm Alex B, your trusty marble play-by-play -play commentator. And it looks like we have our first eight marbles up on the starting gate. And we are rolling. There they go, down the stairs and into funnel number one. In teamwork racing, each competitor starts off with four marbles. And the marbles placed in the bottom half of each round will be eliminated. And if your team loses all your marbles, then you are out of the tournament. Maniac Monsters getting first down that green path. Swift Speeders putting a hit on the Scrooges. Not able to pass him. Salty Scrooges there hitting Maniac Monsters. And Swift Speeders hitting Salty Scrooges as well. And they're both battling out for first place. Golden Viper just sweeps him. Taking over the lead. But Salty Scrooges comes back along with Swift Speeders. And there goes Maniac Monsters, the last marble to be moving forward. Furious Foresters, Red Rangers, Spooky Pumpkins, and Aqua Runners now down with one marble. You hold your breath as all eight of them battle out in funnel number one. Looks like Salty Scrooges now has the edge, getting a little bit of pressure there from Furious Foresters. Red Rangers coming down this time. Salty Scrooges is doing a lot better so far in today's race, but I can't say anything for sure yet. Ooh, Maniac Monsters there passing by Golden Vipers in the green path. It's certainly a hard trick to pull off, but if you can do it, you can get a slight advantage among your competitors. Red Rangers first, Aqua Runners second, Furious Forcers going third after having a one-on-one -on -one race with Salty Scrooges. And that leaves Salty Scrooges with the only team left with a full set, and we are only in the third round of this Marble Race Tournament. And it looks like Swift Speeders now has the slight edge. Everyone's holding their breath. Salty Scrooge is almost getting the inside corner there, but Swift Speeders gets in first, being chased there by Aqua Runners and Salty Scrooge. Salty Scrooge is catching up to Swift Speeders. Six marbles already battling it out in that final stretch. Quite a competitive rivalry we got there. Salty Scrooge is getting first, Golden Viper second. And ooh, we have Red Rangers taking the shortcut, beating out Golden Vipers and Swift Speeders. And man, Spooky Pumpkins not able to get a break, and they are now one marble left till elimination. Furious Foresters, Maniac Monsters, and Aqua Runners in not as good standing either. Only time will tell when our first team will be eliminated. We got Aqua Runners getting first place this time, followed by Salty Scrooges, Furious Foresters, and then Red Rangers, who was able to pass Golden Viper in the basket. That's another hit you have to time perfectly to get right. I remember last year when the Warriors beat the Raptors at the last second using that same technique. And that gives Red Rangers the lead down in that maze, followed by Furious Foresters, Aqua Runners, and Swift Speeders. And that's got to be one of the quickest times I've seen the top four go down. And that leaves Spooky Pumpkins being our first team eliminated. And that's the second time I believe they finish in last. Not good for them. There's a lot of strategic tactics these marbles can use in both the funnels and the maze. Do you choose to risk it all or play it safe and wait for that perfect opportunity? Seems like either of these situations can work in different circumstances as long as you know how to use them. Maniac Monsters just passing by the Scrooges there in that green path. I think the main technique there is to hit your competitor just after he hits that middle part. And if you're fast enough, you can pass him before the track splits back in one. Golden Viper getting first place. Red Rangers and Aqua Runners fighting for that fourth spot. And Aqua Runners is going to be getting it. Red Rangers will be the one eliminated. The feud all began in that stairwell when Red Rangers tried to pass Aqua Runners. And he's able to do it not once, but twice down the stairs. But Aqua Runners is able to keep his cool and keeps two of his marbles left in the tournament. And only six teams remain now with Maniac Monsters getting eliminated. Not even that pass there against the Scrooges was enough for him. Golden Vipers give me the edge along with Swift Speeders. And Golden Vipers is going to take the lead down that green path followed by Swift Speeders. Man, Swift Speeders so far doing a lot better today than in last week's round of the Marble Race Tournament. Red Rangers putting quite a dent to Swift Speeders there. And he's going to be robbed both first and second place. The bottom three will be eliminated now that we only have six competitors left. There goes Swift Speeders and Aqua Runners. 
and it looks like Swift Speeders will be taking that last spot, and that eliminates the Furious Forcers. And man, Furious Forcers just seem to have the worst luck in this tournament. First falling off the track in round one of the qualifying, and then having all their marbles in the end, only to lose in that final race against Aqua Runners. And speaking of Aqua Runners, they only have one competitor left now. Let's see if they can bounce back just like they did last time. And with only five marbles remaining, only the bottom two will be eliminated. The top three will stay in. Aqua Runners there coming down last. And it looks like things aren't doing well for him. Swift Speeders crossing that finish line. And it looks like Aqua Runners will be eliminated along with Salty Scrooges. And unfortunately for them, that puts an end to their run in this round. There goes the Big Giant Hand releasing our final four competitors in that funnel. Man, I just even wonder how the heck can a guy so big fit in a stadium so small? We can only wonder, folks. Red Rangers... Getting the lead there against Golden Viper. Golden Viper, however, passing Salty Scrooges and Swift Speeders. And if Swift Speeders doesn't catch up, he will be eliminated in this round. And he is the leading sector with three marbles remaining. Salty Scrooges now once doing very well in last place. When it comes to teams, Red Rangers coming down first once again. They've been doing very well today. And Salty Scrooges coming down third, and that'll leave Swift Speeders being the one eliminated. Since we have four marbles left, only the last marble in each round will be eliminated. Very similar to the Marble Race Elimination Tournaments on MNH Racing. Neck and neck there along the funnel. You can only hold your breath as they both skim the edge. But it's going to be Golden Viper making that quick move. And Red Rangers isn't able to pass him in the green path, but is able to put quite a dent in that last funnel. And he has a good shot of getting first. Ooh, almost losing his balance. You could see that quick turn he made. Almost threw him off guard, but he gets in first place. Salty Scrooges and Golden Viper battling it out in that maze. Salty Scrooges coming out second and Swift Speeders the second time in a row getting last place. Can he survive this round? There they all go, but battling it out once again in that first funnel. It's going to be Red Rangers versus Swift Speeders, and it's going to be Red Rangers taking the win. And if the Red Rangers play their cards right, I believe he has a really good shot at winning this week's race. There goes Swift Speeders and Golden Vipers like a train into that final funnel, and Salty Scrooge is causing a chain reaction, hitting on Red Rangers. But Swift Speeders got the bad side of the stick. And somehow he's still able to place in the top three. And that leaves an end to Salty Scrooge's round. Fourth place not as bad, although not as good as the top three. There goes Golden Vipers getting a well-timed hit there on Red Rangers. Golden Vipers and Red Rangers with two marbles. Swift Speeders, it's lone competitor left. Let's see if he'll be able to survive to the top two. There goes Golden Vipers getting an excellent lead among the other two marbles. And that's definitely the best thing a competitor can do in these final rounds. Golden Vipers not wasting any time down that funnel. Takes his time down the Plinko Maze, but since he's so far ahead, that doesn't matter. Both weaving in and out, and Swift Speeders is going to survive for another day. And that leaves Red Rangers down with one marble. And not only that, it fails to complete the Plinko Maze. And you can really tell in the background the Red Rangers fans are not happy at all. There goes Swift Speeders, Golden Vipers, and Red Rangers down last. But he's able to make a timed hit there on the Speeders. Round and round, Golden Viper being really strategic using both Swift Speeders and Red Rangers as bumpers. And that allows him to get a crisp lead into that final stretch. Red Rangers now going down that green path along with Swiss Speeders and is able to distract Golden Viper in that final stretch. But it's not enough. Golden Viper's fighting right back. Gets the crisp lead once again. And all eyes are on Swiss Speeders and Red Rangers. Swiss Speeders able to clear it. And the Red Rangers fans, man, they're really pissed off now. And what's this? One of them is trying to start a battle with one of the Golden Viper fans. Claiming that the Golden Vipers fans made an illegal move in that funnel. 
but I'm looking at the rule book now. What I know is that you can use your opponents as a bumper. It's been like that in the MH rule book ever since Marble Racing began. But all eyes now are in the top two now Golden Vipers and Swift Speeders. Golden Vipers takes it, then it's game over while Swift Speeders takes it. Then we'll go in one more sudden death. Swift Speeders, they're trying to make a move there on Golden Viper. Golden Viper countering it and has a pretty good lead into that final stretch. Can Swift Speeders catch up? There he goes down that last turn and no, not able to calibrate the hit. Golden Vipers not wasting any more time. The one thing I like here about Golden Viper is that he doesn't hesitate to make the riskiest moves and it pays off at the end of the day. Too many times I see these competitors focus on the fear rather than the reward. Golden Vipers definitely focuses on the reward and that gives him a total of 8 points in this round and he'll be going up 4th after that. I still don't understand why that Red Rangers fan lashed out. They got tied for 1st and they placed 3rd in today's podium. So nothing to be ashamed about. Congratulations to our top 3 who made the podium today. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, comment and share this video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you are new to MH Racing. We upload new races every week. We'll see you all next time.